I'm going to show you how to upgrade or replace your existing NVR with a new Uniview NVR. So in my case, I'm replacing this 8-channel NVR with a 16-channel IQ series NVR because we ran out of ports for the 8 cameras, so we're going to upgrade to 16 channels so we have more room. This is also going to be helpful if you have an older, you know, let's say a Hike Vision or a Lorex NVR, and you want to upgrade to a Uniview and, get, and take advantage of some of the latest features. Uh, before I unplug this, before I touch anything with the old NVR, I'm going to copy the settings from it. So we need to make sure we know what the IP address of the NVR is, as well as the IP address of all of our cameras, and preferably how they were connected. So we're going to put everything back the way it was. So let's take some notes first. What I'm doing is I'm logging into my NVR through my computer, and I want to go to the camera configuration page, and then we're going to make a note of all the IP addresses that are currently there. And again, if you have a Hike Vision recorder or a Dawa or a Lorex recorder, you should also be able to find your existing camera IP settings and make a note of them. Okay, so now that we've noted down all of the camera IP addresses as well as the old NVR's IP address, we're ready to remove it from the rack and take out the hard drive and swap it into the second NVR. So at this point, I'm just taking apart the old 8-channel NVR and getting the hard drive out from it and then swapping it over to the 16-channel NVR. If you're an installer and you already know how to install the hard drive inside the NVR, you can skip ahead. Or if you want to watch how I do it, feel free to watch. Make sure that you put the SATA cable and the power cable for the hard drive and make sure they're plugged in on both sides and replace the cover. And if you're putting the NVR in a rack, then make sure you use the included rack ears that come with the 16 channel. Now that everything's installed, I'm putting it back inside the rack and making sure that everything's nice and tight. Then make sure that you plug all the cameras back into the ports where they were previously plugged into. And of course, make sure you plug in the internet connection as well for the NVR. So now that we've got the new NVR plugged into our network and all the cameras are plugged in as well, I just opened EasyTools 2.0 so that we can easily find the IP address of the new NVR, which in this case is 10.0.0.70. So you'll find it under Easy Tools and it should show up as NVR. And in this case, I'm going to click this E icon to open the web interface of this NVR. And since it's my first time logging in, the default password is always 123456. We're going to go through it and accept the privacy policy, terms and conditions. And then I'm going to set up a new password, a strong password. Now, as you can see, the NVR, or we're logged into the NVR, but we don't have any cameras. So to add the cameras back, we're going to go to Setup. Then we're going to go to Camera. And through here, we're going to add all of our cameras. And I think it actually found the first four cameras that we plugged in. But it's just giving us an error message because um, it's trying to add them through the default password. But these cameras have a different password. I've already set them, so I'm going to go ahead and just modify the password here. I'm also going to take it off of plug and play and add it as IP address mode. I just find that it's a little bit more stable that way. Okay, so we've got the first four cameras up and running simply by just entering the proper password for those cameras. But now I want to add my other camera, which was a multi-sensor dome. It's on my network not connected to the back of the NVR. So what we can do is you can use the auto search button to find all the cameras on your network. And right away we can see this one is not added yet. It has IP of 10.0.0.175. So this is what we want to add. And this is a multi-sensor camera. It has four channels in one IP address. So let me show you how that works. So we're going to open up our next empty slot here, channel 5, click on modify, 
set it to IP address mode, enter the IP address, which is in this case, uh, I just copy and pasted it, then enter the password of that camera. Then I want to add the second channel, so I'm going to do exactly the same thing. I'm going to click on the next empty spot here, choose IP address, copy and paste, enter the password again, and then I'm going to choose remote camera ID 2. And for the next channel, I'm going to choose remote camera ID 3 and then 4 until I've got them all added. Perfect. So all the cameras have been added back now. So the next thing that I want to do is make sure that the time is set up correctly. So I'm going to go over to system, time. I'm going to select my time zone. I'm going to choose sync with NTP server. And I'm going to enter here the NTP server that I like to use is pool.ntp.org. Then we want to go over to the DST settings and enable it if you live in a region that observes daylight savings time. We should also come over to the storage options and make sure that the hard drive is working properly. So in this case, you can see that the hard drive is not working because it's not formatted properly for this NVR. So it's telling me unformatted. So it's good that we came over to the setting. All we need to do is check the hard drive number one and click format. So unfortunately, we are going to lose all of the previous recording. If you had some important footage, make sure that you back it up first before you swap it to the new NVR because you're going to start from scratch again. Perfect. So now the hard drive is showing up as uh, 10 terabytes and the status is normal. Essentially, the system is working great now. So as we can see, if we go to the live view and we click play, we can see all of our cameras. To add the system to our NVR, we want to go over to the network settings and go to easy cloud. Then you want to scan this QR code and using this QR code, you can add your device through the UNV link app. And if you want to know how that's done, you can check out our other video on the topic. I have a video exactly for how to get your NVR set up for the remote connection. All right, so just to recap, make sure that you copy the settings from your old NVR, then swap the hard drive into the new NVR, and finally paste the settings back into the new NVR and everything should work just the way it was working before. As always, I hope you learned something. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like and subscribe, and I hope to see you in the next video.